Want to have matches which are more memorable? Want an easier time getting over with the audience? Then today's video is one you cannot afford to skip. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. If you are passionate about the craft of professional wrestling and you're never done learning all about it, then you've landed in the exact right place. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe right now. Today's topic was inspired by one of my great patrons, Doc. So thanks for the idea, Doc, whether you realize you inspired this one or not. This one is for you, buddy. And appearing over here is a complete list of all my amazing patrons. They help to keep this channel alive. If you'd like to join that roll call, follow the link down below in the descriptus. And there, for as little as $5 a month, you can instantly unlock all 109 Patreon exclusive videos that will never be seen here on the YouTube channel. And that's just for starters. Because as of this morning, there are 491 exclusive posts just waiting over there so you can further your participation, your education in the world of professional wrestling. There are a lot of working pros out there right now who could not articulate to you what their character's value actually is inside the ring. And this is most often because they confuse their character's value for their gimmick, but these are not the same thing. Here's an example. What is Nikita Koloff's value? Is it that he's Russian? No, that's his gimmick. The value that Nikita Koloff supplies in the ring is his strength, it's his ferocity. And so an opponent who brings craftiness as a counter to Koloff's strength, or who displays cowardice in the face of his ferocity, highlights Nikita Koloff's values through contrast. And that is the big takeaway of today's video. Understanding how that contrast makes characters bolder and makes matches more memorable. Are you learning something from today's video? Then please leave a like a palooza down below. It helps the channel to grow, and thanks for doing that. What about Santino Morella speed walking to the ring in the WWE? Does that mean that Santino's value is speed? Not really. In almost every match I can recall Santino doing that power walk, it was used for comic relief, which means the actual value he is adding to the performance is levity. He's bringing a lighthearted goofiness. And so an opponent who displays a hard-nosed seriousness or an opponent who is utterly devoid of a sense of humor highlights that value from Santino by contrast. What about Kane? He's called the Big Red Machine, so that must be his value, right? Nope. That's his log line, which is a type of value proposition. And if you've read Seven Keys to Becoming a Better Performer, a book I wrote for fellow pro wrestlers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This log line, though, it does hint at his value. His value isn't that he's red. However, he is big, and size is part of the value that he brings to a match. However, if you sat down this weekend to have a match with Kane, and you were like, Hey buddy, so what do you do out there in the ring? He's unlikely to tell you, oh, I'm a big red machine out there. You might be asking, Mike, why do I have to understand or articulate my character's value? Why is it important to parse a gimmick from a value from a log line? And it's for this reason. When you can clearly identify your opponent's value, it becomes dramatically clearer how you contrast against them. And you will achieve this by sitting at your personal mixing board and deciding which elements of your character you're gonna dial up and which elements of your character you're gonna dial down. What gets highlighted in the performance and what do you pull back on? 
This is how you help get other people over and how you get yourself over by highlighting certain values through contrast. And the more boldly you go about this work, the more likely your matches are to be remembered by the audience. Nobody wants to wrestle the most forgettable match on the card. Nobody wants to be the wrestler the audience can't recall as they're heading to their cars at the end of the night after a long string of matches. When the characters are bold, they are easier to recall. And that contrast also helps the audience to more easily understand the match as they are experiencing it live. Because when two characters are perfect foils for each other, the character roles are instantly understood by the viewer. Let's look at this same concept of a perfect foil, but from a different angle. Why is the Batman versus Joker dynamic so powerful? Because of their contrast. Batman restores order, and the Joker foils against that perfectly. The Joker creates chaos. We can see how that contrast highlights both of them and makes for an intriguing matchup. Let's look at one more example that aligns even more closely with what we do in professional wrestling. Why is the battle between the Titans and the Scout Regiment so thrilling in the series Attack on Titan? Well, the Titans supply the value of incredible size and brute strength, while in contrast, the Scout Regiment supplies the values of speed and precision. Just knowing that, we can already begin to anticipate the ways in which they will fight. The battle is more easily understood in the same way that a professional wrestler who supplies the value of incredible size or of brute strength will contrast nicely against a wrestler supplying the value of speed or of precision. They are good foils for each other. As you get good at identifying characters' values and then designing your matches for maximum contrast, you will begin to see how this same exact skill applies to angles and storylines. For example, positioning a character that is very clean cut and extols the value of integrity against a character who is willing to lie, cheat, and steal supplies great contrast and allows for clear storytelling. And the clearer your characters and your performances become, the more memorable they are in the minds of the audience, which is extraordinarily valuable in an era where wrestling seems more disposable and more forgettable than ever before. If you need to get to work on your character's value proposition, start on page 18 of my book, Seven Keys to Becoming a Better Performer, a book for fellow pro wrestlers. It's available right now through Amazon.com or as an audiobook on Audible. If you want to continue this exploration of character in professional wrestling, click on the video that's appearing on screen right now.